Welcome to the channel Smart Kiddos. Today we're going to continue teaching Scratch It coding. In the previous videos, I taught you how to code in Python for kids and beginners. Very, very simple. And also we taught you how to code in Scratch It. So if you haven't seen those videos, please do check them out later. What are we going to learn today in this video? Today we're going to learn how to make a calculator in Scratch It. So let's start. All right, I renamed this project to Calculator in Scratch and I deleted the Scratch Cat sprite. Now go to Backdrops, so click over here and then go to Backdrops over here. Now let's make the calculator backdrop for this calculator using the rectangle shape. Okay, so I created the calculator backdrop. Now let's do the code. All right, let's go to code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a when clicked block. All right, so I'm going to create a variable. So let's go to variable section and click on make a variable. and and I'm gonna make this answer. And I'm going to set answer variable in the beginning to blank. Now let's ask the user to give a number. So I'm gonna go to sensing and choose ask what's your name and wait. But instead of what's your name, I'm gonna type give a number now let us create our number variables i'm going to go to variable and create one called number one and number two now we're going to drag this block set and we're going to change this to number one. So set number one to answer. And we're going to go to sensing section and we're going to drag answer. Now this answer is different from this answer. This answer is local and it's connected to this block, ask give a number. So whatever the number the user types will be stored to number one. So again, I'm going to drag ask what's your name block. And I'm going to type, give another number. And then again, I'm going to go to variables and drag the set block and change this to number two. And I'm going to again set it to answer. So this basically answer is connected to this and number two will store the number given over here by the user. Lastly, let's create a broadcast. I'm going to go to events and drag the broadcast block. And our message is going to be do the math. Now let's create four sprites for our calculator. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division buttons. So I created the buttons and renamed them as the following. Now let's create the code. So let me go to addition button. And I'm going to drag when I receive do the math. So this is the broadcast given in the backdrops code. So let me drag a forever loop and an if statement. Now I'm going to drag the and block from operators. So we're going to go to sensing and drag the mouse down block and touching mouse pointer block. What does this do? Well, it'll check if the mouse is touching the button and the button will check if it's touching the mouse pointer. Now, let us make sure that it will wait until our mouse is not down.
So let's us go to control and drag the wait one seconds block. Now I'm gonna go to operators and drag the not block. Lastly, let me go to sensing and drag the mouse down block. Now let us add number one variable with number two variable. So I'm gonna go to variables and drag set answer to. Then I'm gonna go to operators and drag the plus block. I'm again gonna go to variables and drag the number one variable block and the number two variable block. All right, so we have finished for the addition part. Now for multiply, it's the same code, except here we're using the multiplication sign for the operators. For subtract, make sure to drag the subtract operator. And for divide, it's the same code also. And make sure to drag the division operator. So everything's the same, just a few changes. Now I've made another button called clear. And let's do the code for that. Now suppose the user wants to clear everything, so clear all the numbers. Well, here's the code for that. First drag when sprite is clicked for the clear button, and then you're gonna go to variables and you're gonna drag this block. Set answer to zero. So the answer, which is given by the calculator, should be reset to zero. Okay, so here are some things to do as well. Now, in the beginning, the add, multiply, subtract, divide button should not show, right? The only thing that should show is the numbers entered by the user. So what we're going to do is for each button, make sure to drag when clicked hide. And when they receive the broadcast, make sure to show them. So it's the same thing for this button, this button, and this button as well. Okay, also do this. So drag this code when clicked, set number one to zero, set number two to zero. So in the beginning, these two variables will only store the value zero before the user types any value. So do this code for add button, multiply button, subtract button, and divide button as well. Last but not least, we drag the three variables inside this rectangle. Okay, so let's test this out. I'm gonna click on the green flag. So let me give the number seven. Hmm, let me give the number nine. So now I can add the two numbers, multiply the two numbers, subtract the two numbers, and divide the two numbers. And then I can clear. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Bye!